What's going on guys? Long Roof Lifestyle here. Hadn't done much in a while. Wanted to come out, enjoy this gorgeous weather that we've had for the first time in a while and uh, do a little bit of stuff to the Subaru. Now I'm not doing a whole lot today. Um, all I'm really wanting to do is I want to take my air intake off. Um, I'm going to check my PCV valve down here, take this off, and uh, clean my throttle body. So that's all I'm going to be doing today. But I wanted to take a look at those couple of things. Um, it's been a while since I've done anything like that to this car. And today is our first day. It's like mid-50s, upper 50s right now. Really, really pretty outside. And um, I wanted to do something out here, you know, and get some something for the channel. I haven't done anything in a while. I tried... To do something with the white car back there uh because i got lights on it as you can see on my flag poles and my grill i got lights on it for christmas um those will be coming off soon and it's kind of funny because i plan on doing a <laughs> a uninstall video because honestly the way that i did it um really really simple um that's going to be another video that i plan on doing Um, and of course I've got my lights on mine too on the Subaru and there is a video here on my channel on how I did that so go back and check that out if you want um, it's probably a year or two old but you have to go back a little bit but you'll be able to find it I'm sure but um so anyway I got my daughter playing outside she's up there on the trampoline so if you hear me yell or you hear or I've got to stop for a second and help, help her out with something uh, don't mind me. Uh, I'll get back to it. So anyway, first thing that's got to come off is my air intake. So basically what I'm going to do, this is a 10 mil right here. There's that bolt right there. That's like a, uh, I forgot what that is. Like a 13, I think is what that is. And then there's another, there's another 10 right there. And then, you know, Got your little worm clamp right there. That's basically about it. Guys, my shop is a wreck. Um, I actually had a issue with the Subaru not too long ago. I forgot where this goes. Um, I went to go change the, uh, the spark plugs in it. And one of my plugs actually stripped out. So I had to fix that. I wanted to do a, a spark plug video on it, um, on how to do it. But once all that BS started happening, I was like, Jesus Christ, let me go ahead and stop. The one that went out that started giving me issues was, and uh, you can't really, you can't see it, but it's off of this runner right here. Uh, cylinder number four, that's it, cylinder number four. It started throwing a code on cylinder number four. And um, I took a look, I, you know, well, dang, I only got one screw holding that out from when I replaced everything. Um, I took this out right here, and it allows you almost full access to everything. You remove the battery, and it's just wide open over here. And um, I took everything out and whatnot, and daggone, uh, the spark plug wire was loose and whatnot. So I'm actually thinking that the engine started to push uh, the plug out. And whatnot and when I took the old plug out and I put the new plug in and everything I kept on you know tightening 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 and it just uh, it just let go like that I'm just like oh no we all know what that means yeah we all know what that means so I ended up taking everything back out um, took the plug out looked at it yep bunch of daggone aluminum chips all over the freaking threads so I had to redo all that and whatnot um, it took me a little while I'll show y'all what I used real quick. This actually came with the from my uncle. So I don't know how old this thing is, but let's take a look at it. That's what I used right there. And it worked perfect. Everything's here. I need to put it all back together and give it back to him. Yep, there's a tap right there. Uh ended up hitting it up with some thread lock just to be on the safe side it's seated really good 
Um, I got photos and everything of that. Um, I might include them. But anyway, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. A million miles an hour, guys. So, it's a little on the big side. Yep, there's another tool right there for it. For the uh, insert thing for the spark plugs. Here's my daughter. Say hi, Winter. Hi. So, either way, that, what number is this? 13, it's upside down. Uh, it's too big, so it's gotta be a 12. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What are we going after? I can't tell you something. What are you trying to tell me? It was more like a mushroom. You know better than to mess with the mushrooms, girl. I'm back. <laughs> Gotta put on daddy duty for a second. My daughter's five years old. Man, she's a million miles an hour. I tell you, always into something. I sent her out here with me to give her mom a break because her mom watches her, you know, while I'm goofing off like I am now or while I'm at work. Well, I'm at work, I'm off work until the 3rd. So, well, the 3rd of January. So, um, you know, try and, get, try and give mom a little bit of a break um, while I can, at least as much as possible. I don't know where my daggone 10 went. This is a 12. I'm pretty sure that's what I need for the larger bolt that sits down. This right here's a 10. I know it is. Ta-da. Focus this. So I can use that if I have to. I'd prefer to use... Oh, here's a 10. Cool. Who is that? That's me. Don't mess with it. No, winter. It's me. Hey, I'm gonna have to go I'm, get my extension. I wanna help. Girl, there's not too much you can do right now. I wanna do crazy things too. Girl, there's not much you can do with me right now. Watch out. Actually, you know what? I need a. Let's go over here and get this uh flathead. Oh, flathead. Take a picture of me. Girl, you ain't taking no pictures right now. There we go. Who's harping? That's a dog. Why? What do you mean, why? I don't want them to harp. Dolly, stop harping! Alright, so no way. undo this PVC line right here. I got this right here undone. There's supposed to be a mount here and a mount here, but those are missing. So we have to make do. It does just fine, you know. Nothing too extravagant. Alright, so. All this right here comes up. This right here is kind of a pain to pull off a little bit. straight up and out lay it on the ground not a big deal oh I forgot about this one you need this that pulls straight off right there and then you got this one right here pulls straight off don't know if I'll be able to oh yeah it will work I'm surprised what You got, you got up there, you can get down. Trust me. See? Look at you. All right, there's that. Now this thing should come straight out. Yep.
Good job. Just in case you didn't know, that's the air filter. You see it. Technical difficulties. Kind of see it through there. Kind of even this back up. There we go. That'll work. This is not the best uh, mini tripod, but it works. I may end up having to take my sunglasses off the way I can see down in here. Everything looks all right. Cool. So, I'm gonna put these back too. <laughs> Make it look a little bit better. Take my sunglasses off. Hopefully I don't weave them. That's your, mouth, that's your uh, slave cylinder there for your clutch and all that good stuff. Mount. Not right now, girl. That's your throttle body, which I don't know if I can squeeze that in there or not. I may end up having to take it out. Um, there is a gasket right here. That's probably old. Probably could be replaced. I'll take a look at it and see if it needs to be replaced or not. If I have, if it has to be replaced, not too big of a deal because I got my white car back there that I can drive. But um, you know, it's not too big of a deal. All it is is air and whatnot. Um, although if it does get messed up, it'll probably throw a code. I ain't gonna lie to you about that. It'll probably throw a code, MAF or something like that. Undo your. Mm. Man, that's dirty. Undo that. So now, that might actually be the same size as this. To be honest with you. Yep. You know what? Let's see if we can do this without taking it off completely. That, that coolant line is rubber, so it might be okay to kind of pivot just a little bit and move around a little bit. Hopefully. Let's do what we can do. There's that one. That one. And that one. There's going to be four of them at all four corners. That one. Put your screws somewhere if you don't want to lose them. I need to undo that top hose too. Goes to, I forgot what that goes to, I can't remember. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Grab a little screwdriver. Get that last one down there. I'm carefully cleaning it off, trying to make sure there's not any junk dirt or what have you in between the mating surface of the um i'll say it here in a minute the throttle body and the uh throttle body gasket that looks okay to me i'm just gonna leave that as is okay for now that'll work and I actually forgot that there was that secondary line right there. One's input, one's output, of course. And that's really about it. This thing's probably not that pressurized, to be honest with you. I just drove it here from the backyard. But you can see all the buildup and everything on the, uh, whatchamacallit right there, itself pretty rough to be honest with you it may not be that bad to go ahead and take that off but I think it'll be okay like that it's got to maneuver it just a little bit should be okay as long as I don't put too much pressure or anything on the or anything on it Lean it forward like that a little bit. Just kind of wipe it. Get 
you don't end up getting all of it, it's not the end of the world. But the more you get, the better. Should have done this a long time ago, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's much better. I think. I'll be honest. Much better. A, a funky uh, throttle body can cause all kinds of problems. I don't know. I don't know them all, but you know, weird running. All kinds of stuff can be caused by them. Man, that's a heavy ass spring on that thing. Wow. I'm gonna have to zip tie, zip tie that open. That way I can keep it open and clean it. That spring is, is healthy. That's better than it was, Lord knows. See, that's probably pretty good. So, you can see, you know, how much better it looks. It's not like totally perfect, but I think it'll be much better. So let's go ahead and get that back on and uh, move on, move on, I suppose. Let's take a look at everything. Wipe it down. It stayed in place. I don't see any reps. I don't see any tears. Well, you can actually see what I'm talking about on the uh, thingamajig there. See no rips. I don't see no tears. Make sure it's still aimed at it. Yep. Let's go and get her back together. There's that. That one. And that one. Now these don't have to be all that tight. I'm sure there is a, uh, a torque spec call out for them. But I'll just get them good and snug. And it's never given me a problem before, so. I'm going to continue on with that method. Like I said, not too tight. That's probably pretty good right there. Good. I have to go on a crisscross pattern. That's good. That's good. Trying to get that hose back on there good. Pain in the butt. I'm going to have to get my pliers. Move it on up a little bit. There it goes. Got it. Okay, cool. That's got that. Replug your uh, throttle position sensor, which is right there. That's the throttle position sensor. It's got adjustments over on the side where the screws are. There is a voltage that that needs to stay at, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I have tested it out before. I'm not getting any codes for it or anything like that, but there's a cert there's certain pins that you test and you read a certain voltage off of it until you get that certain voltage is where you need to be. All right, so here comes the fun part, getting this back in there. Because this right here is a pain. All right, so after that fiasco, 
I got the linkage and everything back together, but uh, <laughs> I lost my E-clip. There's an E-clip that's supposed to go right there. That little divot is after the spring over to the right of it. That little valley right here. And I lost it. I pried it off. Because of course, after I got all this undone, it like went back together perfectly. That's that. That's my luck. But uh, I got it. Hopefully she runs okay and, and, and all that good stuff. Once I get it all back together and running. Um, I'm hoping that the Eclipse just fell underneath the car. Uh, I'll find out here in a little bit. For right now, it's okay. Just to kind of ride around on, but... Um, I may end up having to go to the junkyard or something like that. And get an Eclipse that will specifically fit that. Because I don't know if they carry those autos on or anything like that. Um, oh, don't worry about this. Uh... I've actually, I, I, before I made this video, I literally ordered the strap I needed. So I ain't, too, I ain't worried about that. Oh yeah, your PCV, man. I forgot about that. That's what I was going to do. Now wind's starting to get kind of cold. The sun's going down. Alright, so for this guy right here, pull this off, out. Pull that. can't remember what size that is. This is a PCV valve right here. It's metal. You can hear it. A little bit. And it never goes all the way in. At least for me it doesn't. Like that. Now think about the wells. I'm looking at it. Go ahead and snug. That'll work. And it's probably not a bad idea. to take these hoses off as well. Clean them a little bit. Now it is a little bit on the hard side. To get down there at the very bottom. You can, yep, you can see it a little bit down there. It's not the easiest thing to do down there, but we'll do that. Uh, you need some needle nose pliers to get down there. That's what I'd recommend. But, you know, you figure out something else that works for you, then by all means. I'm going to stop the video right now because that's going to take me a little bit to do. And all I literally do is just, you know, spray some cleaner through these hoses. Spray some cleaner through these hoses and stuff like that. Clean them out. Make sure there's nothing crazy going on down there going into the crankcase. So give me a couple. Let me do that. All right, got it all back together. Sprayed out the the um, the valve itself, as you've seen. It's time to put all this back on. There's that one, which I'm gonna leave this loose until I get it back until I get everything back on. No. This goes over here. Like that. Like that. So that stays right there. Just like so. That goes here. There we go. Same song and dance for this one over here. Like that. Those are your vent lines for your uh, valve covers. And this goes like this. Clicks. That sits like that here. It's like that. This goes down here. That's got that. 
That was a 10. Just like that. Let's put this right here back on here. All right. Put this up. See what happens. I don't know if I'll be able to see it's probably too tall. Yeah. So we'll just do it like that. Alright, here we go. So, take her out for a spin and see what she does. And after that, I'll conclude the video, I guess.